All right, I'm here with very, a very dapper looking Danny Hill after today's 1 0 victory against local rivals Billericay. Danny, a win at last. How are you feeling? A little bit relieved? Yeah, they say a little bit of pressure has come off us today. Um, obviously, it ain't over yet. Obviously, there's still five massive games to play, but obviously, I think we're seven points clear of the bottom four now with uh, five games to go. And uh, we was good for our money today. And I'd say, obviously, the sending off for them after about five, six minutes did help us, obviously. But the windy conditions again was half of both sides. But I thought we, we kept the ball well and uh, created chances. She probably should have gone in two or three up. Uh, but that's a bit of the way of our season at the moment. And um, But we, we stuck together. We knew the second half was going to be different, obviously, especially with. Um, without having the wind behind us as well and uh, we didn't panic, we didn't start and smash it forward, we kept building up play, building up play and then Dumas has hit a great cross here, Enoch's made a great run, I think he'll come off Steve Sheehan's leg so uh, I'll buy him a beer in a minute for that. So um, their sending off came really early in the game, um, sort of changed the whole complexion of what the game was going to turn out to be, what did you make of that? Yeah, well, to be honest, yeah, we 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 went to watch them play on Monday night. We we sat up and played centre half, so we, we probably thought that was the way they was going to go because they beat Leeson four 0 And um, but obviously they, they was the right roles reversed today because I think Leeson had a boy sent off after about fifteen minutes, and we haven't dealt really well with it to be honest this season when we have gone playing against ten and. Uh, I can't the, the boys. We had a lot of pressure, so pressure on us today. And uh, said before the game, there's a mini league with six teams in it, and uh, we've got a four-point head start on it. So now we've got a seven-point head start on it with five to play. So the work rate and the togetherness of the boys, and I can't knock it today. And uh, I'm really happy for them, and, and obviously it takes the pressure off a little bit. So we did have plenty of chances, especially in the second half, to put the game to bed. Should we really put some more away and made it look a little bit more? Yeah, I, th I think obviously it, it would have just took the pressure off us a little bit more. Obviously, we were getting a second goal, but it weren't. But they never really troubled us today. I thought uh, Jake Larkins, who came and goal for us today um, to, to, to help us out, uh, was absolutely phenomenal. I thought his kicking was brilliant, especially against the win first half, and, and a very dominant display from him. And uh, he'd give everyone a bit of. Um, just, just relax everybody in the back four and that, knowing he was behind us and that. So Tim's had a great, great season for us and that. But the boy coming today, a bit more experience and that, and uh, it, it showed a little bit. And uh, say a lot of thank Bishop Stalford and Rod Stringer for helping us out today. So uh, we owe them a favour. But uh, no, just really pleased in all of the whole performance and uh, everybody's attitude in training Thursday. Got them here a little bit earlier today to make sure we went through some bits and bobs and uh, everyone stuck to their to their roles and uh, we got what we deserve. Second half game got really stretched. We had plenty of chances, and obviously we got that little bit of luck from uh, old boy Steve Sheehan. Um, is that the little bit of luck we've needed over the past few weeks? We've had that five margins. Obviously, we was really, really good here against Margate uh, a couple of weeks ago when we drew two all, and then um, we obviously went away at Hendon on Wednesday night, and uh, I thought we dominated the game for the, especially for the first hour of it, and uh, had two or three good chances, never took them, and then the boys hit one from from the edge of the box straight in the top corner, and we've lost one nil. Then we go back to Harrow again to play Harrow last Saturday. Dominated the game, dominated possession, and uh, one little slip up at the back and lost one nil. So it's been coming. We've been, the performance levels have been good, reasonably good, and uh, just that little fine margin and that little rub, lady luck that you don't get sometimes. And uh, so we got it today. Obviously, the sending off was a big, big plus for us. And then, uh, but we, we like, keep going back to it. We haven't really dominated the game enough when we've gone. Then the other teams got down to ten, but we did today, and uh, we look pretty comfortable. So we saw Kevin Dobinson well out of position in fullback. What did you make of his impact on the game? We obviously had Jack Simmons as man of the match, but Dobbo out of position. Uh, what did you make of him? Yeah, obviously I've gone kind of to watch Billericay on Monday. We uh, Sapon's got a massive throw, uh, throws it from the, just inside our in our own half uh, and just throws it in the box. So we had to deal with that. And uh, obviously Dave Collis has got an hamstring problem, so he didn't play it today. And uh, Dobbo's a class act; he can play anywhere he wants. And uh, yeah, I thought he was brilliant today. And uh, we just put him in there because uh, Dan King's done well as well. But we just went with Dobbo today just for that bit more aerial and. Uh, Inside and uh, it paid off for us. So uh, I'll just take the dog over. He's probably got another year now out in his career because he thinks he's hanging up his boots in the summer. But I found him a new position. So um, I did just touch on Jack Simmons, man of the match. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, no, he's, he's come in and out. I thought he took a couple of games to find his feet when he first came in, but he, he's been brilliant for us. Uh, playing more of a wide right, wide left, attitude spot on, training wise, always puts it in. and. Uh, no, he deserves the rewards he's getting at the moment, but say he, can, he can take people on on the outside, on the inside. He's a clever player, doesn't very really lose uh, possession very rarely. And uh, no, he's been superb for us, so I can't speak highly enough of him.
Is it nice to do it against the local rivals as well? Well, it's like we say, we've took six points off them, so we beat them, beat them one nil at their place, and uh, obviously one nil again today. So uh, we've had a rough, uh, rough season this season, and things have been hard behind the scenes and that as well. But we've stuck together through thick and thin, and we had a bit of a dip, and then, then we had a good eight, eight game unbeaten run. Then we've had another bit of a dip, but so it's nice, especially the supporters as well. They're stuck with us, and uh, I thought we put on a good show today, and uh, it's always nice to get one over your rivals as well. So we've touched on it quite a few times this season about the effect of some vocal support. How much is it just shown today? As soon as we started singing, we've gone and picked up three points. Yeah, no, just for for, for the boys and, and the management, for everyone around the club, and that. If you've got people singing and cheering for you, and it just gives you that extra little ten percent, and uh, it was a big factor today. And when we played Margate here and that, obviously it was a bit quiet earlier on in the season and that. And uh, but I know times are hard. We've just come out of a recession, and people who haven't got the money to be coming to football. If you, you could have two games in a week at home, and uh, it's a lot of money by the time they pay to get in that. But say the crowds are slowly picking up. Obviously, when you're playing decent football, which we try to do, and get results, obviously you, you try and get people back through the gate. But uh, it's been up and down this season, and I appreciate that. But people have got to be patient and just realise what's going on. It's a it's a big appointment now that John's been made chairman, so the club can have a, a bit more direction and uh, someone to lean on for me a bit more because uh, obviously not having a chairman all summer and then it just someone trying to find sponsorship and bits and bobs like that and uh, for me it probably should have happened a bit sooner uh, had a chairman in but uh, it's, it's a good club down here, good people, good good fans, decent pitch and it's a joy to play down here and work down here and uh, so we're, we're looking to make sure we finish the season strong and hopefully re rebuild in the summer and, uh, and try and have a good go. So just a quick word about John Batch's um, appointment as chairman, how important is it for you as a manager to have someone you can go to, someone who can lead the club? Yeah, when I took over in, in, in obviously two seasons ago, obviously uh, I, I, the part of the deal with me to doing it was my own idea was to have John in with me for, for, a, for just for someone because it, it was a big jump for me. Obviously, I've come out from playing football in this league and to be a manager, you don't realise the pressure you get put under, um, the amount of time it takes in your social life and, 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 and your personal life. Obviously, luckily my wife understands that reserve games, going and watching games and that, and uh, she slowly got round to the idea of it all. But it's tough and it's a big ask. And uh, I've probably learnt more this year with, with the money restraints we've had and having to beg, borrow and steal and going the loan market and that. And, and I, I'm still learning. I'm, I'm far, from, far from the finished article and uh, it's my second season, but I enjoy it. And it, it makes it a bit better for me, obviously, being my hometown club as well. So it, it gives you a bit more passion and everything. But I say, I mean, I'm, in, I'm here for the long, long ride and uh, I can just see the things going on behind the scenes about the clubhouse being rebuilt and, and making our own money from functions and bits, bits like that. That's a massive thing that's got to happen. And uh, just as long as everyone's behind the scenes and pulling their weight and, and the managers and the players are trying to buy in what we're doing and then hopefully that's a, that's a, that's a recipe for success. So hopefully uh, a lot of stuff's going on behind the scenes at the moment and uh, people have got to be patient and give John a chance to try and do what he's doing. and. Uh, and everyone just stick together. But um, I think the Canary Island's future is definitely a lot brighter than it was uh, maybe six months ago. Fantastic. Thank you, Danny. Thanks, well done today. Thank you.